my people, this one is another one reaching us right now. Hmm. The governor of Ondo State, Governor Rotimi Aki Akirodolu, has warned Yoruba agitators. He can talk say they will not tolerate another IPOB in Yoruba land. Though. So make them hold themselves. And this one eh, don't make people they talk. Nigerians are not really happy with this statement. They understand. So let's quickly hit the news and get the full details. But before then, if you are here for the first time, kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you for always coming out here. May God bless you all. Chairman of the Southwest Governor Forum and Ondo State Governor, Mr. Rotimi Akiro Dolu has warned those agitating for Oduduwa Nation to perish the thought, saying many lives has been laid down for the unity of the country, Nigeria. Akiro Dolu stated this on Friday in Akure at the flag golf of the 2023 Armed Forces Remembrance Day celebration, one that States in the Southwest will not allow any agitation that could scuttle the sacrifice of the nation's heroes. The governor stated that a repeat of the outlawed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, in the southeastern part of the country will not be tolerated in Yoruba land, declaring that no seat at home order would be tolerated in any state in the region. He said, those glamouring for Oduduwa nation will not succeed. People have not people have not people have not laid down their lives for this country for nothing. This country is very important to some of us. We recognize the right of the people to protest or agitate. But if the police feel your actions are treasonable, they will arrest and prosecute you. It is not at this stage in the history of this country that we will repeat IPOB in Yoruba and uh, opportunity becomes a force. We cannot afford to throw away that opportunity. We must work to ensure that there is power shift. The opportunity for presidency to come to the south especially the southwest is around the corner we will not sit down and support anyone glamouring for the dual nation we will not support it we have fought for this with everything we had nigeria will be good the security agencies will checkmate those on on unscrupulous enemies i beg your pardon and backing on such frivolous activities. We have responsibilities now to subtly reflect on the plight of those who have laid down their lives and those who are still laying down their lives for the unity and peace of this country. Akiro Dolu saluted the self, selfless service of the heroes who laid down their lives in wars and peacekeeping missions around the world and those currently serving day and night to guarantee the peace and unity of the country. According to the governor, special recognition must be accorded the gallant military men who have been involved in the war against all forms of terrorist activities in the northeast, northwest, and other parts of the country, and who have, in the process, paid the supreme sacrifice. He reiterated that his administration will continue to work with governmental and non-governmental organizations as well as officers and men of the armed forces and the a legion to ensure improved welfare of Nigerians, widows and dependents of departed ones in the state. He commended the Nigerian legion for their stand fitness, steadfastness, I beg your pardon, perseverance, and exemplary conduct as they continue to contribute 
to the growth and development of the country, particularly in the area of security. The governor disclosed that the current posture of the enemies of the country, which has caused the nation the lives of many of our gallant soldiers, is highly condemnable. Stressing that the sustained effort of the officers and men has checked the threat by the unscrupulous elements, he said without the sacrifice and commitment of these officers and men of the armed forces, it would have been a better of time before the whole country is overrun. The month-long armed forces remembrance the celebration is therefore a golden opportunity for government and the society at large to emphasize and associate with widows and relations of our fallen heroes, especially those that were cut down in their prime. The onus is on us to sobly reflect on the plight of those categories of people and the resolve to ensure that they live socially acceptable lives. It should be noted that the major reason for the appeal fund is to provide financial and material support to families of the fallen heroes, as well as veterans who survived various military operations with some sustained sustaining various degrees of injuries that had rendered them incapacitated. There is nothing too good or too much that we can offer that could replace the precious lives lost or remedy the deprivations and untold hardship suffered by the dependent of these heroes. Okay. How can you allow Nigeria to break up because Nigerians favor you and your generation? But you don't know that millions of your people gain nothing of being a Nigerian rather than suffering and sorrow. Then, in that case, the people glamouring for secession are the people Nigeria did not favour and they want to break away. They want a breakaway country, okay, where they will also take with them the people Nigeria favoured all of now the craze. I am an Yoruba man. I am also tired of this country, but I have lost hope in Obi. Let's join hands and let him. I have lost hope in Obi. Let's join hands and let him take back this country from Emilalko and go back to we, the citizens. Okay. Uh, these are reactions by Nigerians. What do you have to say concerning this? Can they share your views below the comment section? Thank you.